Rogan, firstly, congratulations on picking up the Player of the Month award for March. How does it feel to be recognised by your fellow clubs for your efforts? Um, yeah, thank you, firstly. Um, yeah, it's, obviously it's a great feeling. Um, when I seen it, I was nominated uh, alongside some really good players in the league who are competing at the top. So I was delighted to be nominated, firstly, but to have won the award, it, yeah, it means a lot. The previous times I've won it, I've, I've just felt the same. I've just felt like it's nice to be noticed through your hard work and your contribution to your team. And uh, yeah, that's ultimately all I want to do is just contribute to the team performances as much as I can. Three goals and assists for yourself personally last month. How much confidence does that give you in your own game for moving forward into a crucial part of the season? Now? Yeah, well, it's something that I spoke with the coaches about at the start of the season was I, I really wanted to try and add some goals to my game and or contribute to the goals directly. So yeah, it's something that I'm really happy with and something that I'll continue working on and hopefully there'll be more of that. You've just returned off the back international duty as well. How was that experience for you and having so many of your teammates with you in the squad? That must have been nice too. Yeah, it was great. It was a really good camp, really positive. Um, I think that the results speak for themselves. They were really good results. And yeah, to have so many of the Rangers girls there was, it, yeah, it was really pleasing. I think it speaks well for the club to show that um, we're really working hard and we're pushing our limits to try and get to be in the best place possible. And I think with the amount of girls there, that's shown. And, yeah, obviously it was great and like Emma was, was great when we were away so yeah, I'm really happy for her and yeah, it was just a real togetherness when we were there so it was really good. And full focus now turns back to league duties for you and the team, how are you preparing to get ready for the weekend? Yeah, um, the, the games are coming thick and fast now and yeah, I think we just need to focus on one game at a time, control the controllable which is going into every game with a, a winning mindset and yeah, we just need to go for the three points and We've got cup coming up, so yeah, it's a big few months ahead, but I think we're ready for it. Once we get party Fistle out of the way, we've got obviously Glasgow City and we've got um, Murrowell, so it's we need to really use the squad depth when it comes to games like this, and yeah, I think we just stick together and we'll find a way to win. I expect it to be a tough game, they're a really well organised side, and when we've played them previously, they've made it hard to break them down, and we just need to stick to our game plan and focus on what we want to work on, and. Yeah, if we, if we play our own game, I think we'll find a way. Just lastly, you touched on it, how important is going to be the squad for this period that's coming up? It's obviously a massive one for the club towards the end of the season. Yeah, it's massive. There's obviously, there's loads of games coming up next couple of months, so I think we just need to utilise every player in the squad, and that's when the real togetherness comes in. We all want the same outcome in the end, so we just really need to work hard for each other alongside the staff and everyone else at the club. We, ultimately, we all want the same thing, and that's to win, so just stick together.